goes on in Alamo Stadium, where the surprising San Antonio gunslingers straddle the storyline of revenge. In Chicago one month prior, Vince Evans zeroed in on Chris Haynes, gunning down the slingers in the OT Corral. But now it's high noon in Texas, and San Antonio quarterback Rick Neuheisel has a 6'4 target in his sight named Joey Hackett. On a fiery field just right for scrambling legs, Evans has his plans fried by former L.A. defensive end Greg Fields, who punches out the first touchdown in his five-year pro career, giving the Slingers a 17-zip lead. San Antonio has won two of its last three thanks to the patient approach of Gil Stanky. But Evans rebounds nicely against one of the stingiest teams in the league. And in the final minute of play, he brings the blitz within two with a north of the border move to Larry Canada. The blitz is one short kick away from recovery. Let's go now, let's go now! But while Chicago has the numbers on its side, San Antonio's Peter Rayford has good fortune on his. Rayford's third opportunistic touchdown of the year gives the Gunslingers a 30-21 measure of revenge and lifts them to 4-7 and seven in the Central Division. But keeping out of the basement is just the start for what might be the USFL's second half glamour team. You know, I think that if we can just keep this kind of mixture going and uh, keep playing the way we are and keep having fun the way we are, then we've got a real chance to, to make some noise in the USFL.